YouTube, I have a really unique design for a steam engine jumping around in my head that I would really like to see what you guys think. So, I was out in the woods the other day, and I found this really old truck rim, and I immediately thought, this is not a truck rim, this is a flywheel for something. Um, whether it be something, you know, like I could hook it on a small engine and the thing would never quit turning, or make a steam engine. So I thought, I've only built one steam engine, it's over there, it's that little, oh, you can't see it, it's behind the toolbox. It's a little two-cycle one. It would be cool to build one of the fours. So, I was debating whether or not to take apart my llama or somebody gave me. It was a little, I think that it was a three-horse Briggs & Stratton uh, super cheapo plastic cam. And I'm glad I actually did take it apart because that thing never would have run. It, um, it was a parts mower. And I didn't know that. He just said, you know, take it if you want it. If you can't fix it, that is. I tried to fix it. Carburetor was a mess. The cam was bent. Uh, a gear was stripped in there, the plastic cam gear, and he was running it with about half water, half oil ratio in there, which I don't think is quite right. So anyway, I got this block now, and I thought, how cool would it be to have the steam engine kind of running in its own flywheel? So, I threw this together. It's an old, it's pretty thick, it's steel. It's a chain cover for a really old electric scooter. And it's, a, it's, it's thick, it's not going to break. And um, I bolted it up in the existing wheel holes, and that's just a lawnmower blade and a homemade washer there. You see, I centered it with a washer. So I have this engine here, and I thought, what the heck, give it a shot can't make the engine any worse because I mean look at the bearings already bearings are pretty bad in this thing so this wheel I bet you weighs 30 to 40 pounds and the biggest reason I really like this wheel is look at that groove there perfect for a belt going to something off of this flywheel so what I would like to do is build the steam engine on a mount where the flywheel can turn and this engine can kind of rest in it and the other cool thing is the exhaust here it's gonna every time it this wheel turns it's gonna puff the exhaust is gonna puff out of one of these holes which I thought would look really neat so just a kind of unique design idea here and it's gonna turn on me again yep but what I can't figure out at this point is first of all I don't have a camshaft for this engine the one that came with it was plastic and on top of that it was bent so there's that and second off, there you can see the wiggle better. And it did that before I took the back end off. I know it has the back end off right now. The other problem is, and the one that I'm trying to tackle right now, how can I mount, and this will obviously be put back on it, how can I use either that hole, that hole, and that hole, or some of the other existing holes on here to mount it, where I can have a mount coming out. See, it would need to come out, and I would say it would need to stick out relatively far, because this thing, this wheel's heavy, so I would need to have a good bit of counterweight. I thought probably what I could do, because it would be on a stand, maybe two, three feet high, come out, bring it out, you know, have my little table here, and then have the uh, leg of the table, because it would be sitting up like this. Have it coming out, and then facing, going back at an angle down the front. But if you guys have any ideas about how I can mount this, because I just don't really want it to, I don't know, I can't figure it out. But I thought it would be a neat idea. And then I also thought, eventually, and this is me just thinking way, way, way ahead of the point I'm at in the project. So there's kind of what it looks like right now. And once it gets that spinning, I think it'll be fine. It's heavy, yes, but I think the engine, once it gets spinning, you'll be fine. I have, if I can find it, I laid it out for the video, and now it's gone. There it is. I knew I laid it out. This would look cool on the front here. It's kind of a pinwheel thing, and paint it to be, you know, like a jet engine front. The swirls, and then it also would blow air around. Eh, that's not necessarily a great idea. But anyway, 
Uh, any ideas on that? Question, comments, concerns? Tell me if you think it'll work. If it won't, I'm going to try it regardless. Um, anyway, after all, that engine was not that great for parts, and I took everything else that I would use off of it, and I have this wheel. Originally, I thought it would be cool to do this wheel on something like a Model 25 Briggs, like this monster here, which I'm going to use in my go-kart once I finish converting it to a uh, horizontal shaft. I've got too many projects. But the problem is with one of these is I don't have another one of these. I mean, I do, but it's on a riding lawnmower. And although it doesn't have a carburetor, I'm not really willing to rip it off yet. And if you guys have any questions about how I'm turning this to horizontal shaft, just shoot me that. I'm email Charger Miles. Help me out a lot. i got to time it again. Some kid came down here and pulled out the gear. Probably my brother. Something like that. Anyhow. Um, so, yeah, that's my steam, steam engine idea. And I bet I think it would look a lot better on something like this. A lot more metal to work with. A lot bigger engine. But... Ah, beggars can't be choosers, and one thing's for sure, it would be a strange-looking little booger. So if you got any ideas, let me know. I think I think it would be a neat little engine to tootle around with. Not, you know, on a bike or anything, but just as a stationary. And, um, if you guys recognize that rim, tell me. This was in the woods next to a whole bunch of cars from... Well, about three cars from the 30, 20, 1920s and 30s. I'm thinking maybe that could be a bulldog. The old bulldog rim. That's an old kind of truck, but I'm not sure. Let me know. It's uh, 13 inches in diameter on this side. I don't know what the lip is, but it's it's also steel and extremely heavy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's about it.